Welcome back to the Amber Throne. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we got to Axis's kingdom, but we didn't go inside. We only opened the gate. As you can see, now we have a journal entry. What do we have to uh, learn from what Ira wrote in here? Where am I? I don't recognize this place at all. The kingdom used to be blue, with stone towers and gardens surrounding the palace. This can't be right. Did something happen to the kingdom when the palace the palace lifted? Just as gold would change when the petal was removed? Maybe, maybe. What are these lines? Like, what is this being powered? This is being powered by the Amber Throne? What are we bringing back to life? Ooh, little bot here. We're gonna fight it. Visitation offline. Kingdom currently locked down due to social tension. Please leave and return later. Well, we know we're not gonna leave because, well, Evelyn didn't leave. So clearly, clearly we can't leave. Garden area compromised by social unrest. Please avoid entry. We are not going to avoid entry. Thank you very much. Uh, seems we can't really make it through though. So we'll go the other way. That's all right. All right. So what do we have this way? We have um, two full potions. That's good. I like full potions. All visitors requested to leave immediately. You are advised to not ignore this warning. Hmm, and this one looks slightly different. And why is this power not activated? What does this have to say? What can I assist you with? Oh, okay, well I will shop. And if there, we've learned one thing from previous episode is that when you have the possibility to shop, you shop. So I'm gonna buy ton, 10 of these and ugh, how many can I buy of these? Maybe five of these. That's probably enough, right? Right, guys? Oh, we got plenty of revives and greater mending spray. I don't use them too often, so hopefully that'll do something. And we're going to do a quick little save. Uh, not on this one, actually. On this one. I was uh, I recorded for like two minutes earlier and it crashed on me. So in case it does the same thing, let's just be careful. Now, what's up here? Scary music and skeletons. I don't like that at all. What has happened to Axis's kingdom? Man, maybe it was just... Alright, so defense minus 100%. This is a little bit what happened previously. It doesn't show it here, but if we look at status, I think... Yeah, oh no. Everybody's defense is fine. Does it take time to... To take effect? I'm gonna... I don't know. Welcome to the World Disposal Pit. The World Disposal Pit? What does that mean? Here, humans are returned to the world. You are not in the shield network. Report to a column before continuing or you risk being returned. Well, clearly we're not gonna leave. I don't really want to fight, but something that's uh, returning humans to the world, I feel like we're kind of like recycling the world. Look, look at all these skeletons. Rebellion against Axis will not be tolerated. Hmm, we're rebelling against Axis now. Your system need a firmware update, buddy. Ooh, okay. That's not good. So let's do a little bit of a Starbreaker, because that's what I like doing. And you do... you do you. Spike shot, obviously. And what does that do? Ooh, they resist Blunt. Oh, but it's cracking up a little bit. Now, one thing that I have learned before... Move Curse from a target. So let's remove... All the crap that's been going wrong with uh, on era. Ooh, weak against piercing. I like that. Now I don't know if we can do further damage to this thing. Ow. Okay, agility down. That's not a big deal. I'm gonna try again, see if we can, you know, break the armor even more. Can we? Yes. World disposal. But I still see some armor, so I feel like we might be able to do another star destroyer on it. And somehow, oh my god. I really wanted to do, uh, okay, I'm gonna do just a regular little one here. I kind of wanted to do purge on someone else, but uh, a little too close for comfort here. And some good damage there too. Okay, not too bad. Uh, another star breaker I feel is appropriate. And, oh, regrowth, okay, so there's only two levels of Ooh, she's poison, but Sierra's gonna have a turn next. Oh man, 
All right, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god. Okay, maybe you can't die from this. So let's give her uh, this kind of potion in hopes that, you know, it makes a difference. And you do Starbreaker. I know I should probably do the Dragon thong Tongue thing, but to be honest, uh... Ow. 500, jeez. Please defense down. It doesn't do defense down, but it's not resisting anymore, so we're doing decent damage. And I want to do some more spike shots, and you know, now I want to do Dragon Tongue, because we do get some health back. And you do Purge. And you do it on her, because she's weaker. There we go. What do we get out of this? Oh, wow. It has a lot. Bam. Not too bad. Crappy XP, though. And crappy gold, too. Uh, defense is still considered down, which is unfortunate. But, uh, alright, time to heal up. Looks like this is going to be one of those places, guys. Very dangerous. Alright. So, we've got... See, I don't know what this drone thing does. I want to destroy it. Now, if only we could find... Oh. Now the defense down is down. It's gone. Uh-oh. Ugh. Outside. That looks like a dead something. Uh, looks like a dead soldier from, uh, from the human kingdom. But our defense is down. So I'm going to do a spike shot on it. I'm going to do a... Starbreaker on it. And Sierra, when... He has a time. Nope, not weak against piercing, but still doing good damage. We're gonna do purge, and we're gonna do purge on ourselves, actually. Because, well, he's the weakest, usually. And I'm glad I did it. Look at that. Another Starbreaker. Defense down, good, that's what I wanted. Uh, I'll try another one of these. And we're doing all right here. We're only going to have to heal uh, Sierra for a little bit. And uh, can we finish him off? I think so. Oh, maybe not. But uh, maybe Slash, just to see if Slash damage is with... Uh, no, but... Wow! That was some good damage. All right. All right, all right. Let's see here... Okay, those things move, so we can act probably actually avoid... Um, we could probably avoid having lowered defense by just keep staying out of the radius. I don't know what revives them, though. Uh, what do we have here? A Rebel's Hood. Uh, I don't know if I can wear that. Higher defense, lowered spirit... 94 here and 101 She has a teal hood too. I could uh, probably have my spirit lowered a little bit for a bit of speed too So I'll do that actually. I think I can buy a rebel's hood back in the Sir Kingdom And I'm gonna do a safety save. I don't want to let's not screw around Wow, we're up to 12 hours of gameplay. That's that's a very long JRPG Like I because I, I know we're getting close to the end, but we're not that close so I don't know. All right, so obviously the glowing path is where we have to go. And, uh, well, I would like to fight these things, so, all right. I bet you this thing's weak against fire. So I'm gonna try... Well, I'm gonna start, start with Starbreaker. I always start with Starbreaker. If we can lower defense, there you go. Lower defense. Let's try a Solar Storm, because that, no. Solar Strike, because that one does a bit of fire damage. And no, alright, that's good to know, I suppose. Let's try some piercing damage. And what does it look like? Ah. Well, it's a tree. I think trees are usually weak against slashing. So I'll try and do my horizon slash. Piercing didn't do the trick. It's doing good damage, just... Oh, well, no, we're actually really taking this thing for a ride. Uh, we can try... Oh, thunder would make sense, actually. Because it's a tree. <laughs> but that didn't do anything as well. Alright, so agility down here. I'll try a solar storm. Why not? There you go. Oh my god, crappy gold. And a decrepit root. 
If we can respawn these, roots are technically pretty good usually. Ah, don't these things rise from the dead? I guess not. Whoa! Oh, wow. So when we're close, this thing reminds us of the past? The world is beautiful. It sure is. Can we go down here? We can. And what's here? Is that the garden? I don't want to go too far. Ooh, scary music. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. Because, uh, yeah, like, a, you, you always want to go where you're supposed to, uh, not supposed to go, right? And you can't deactivate this from here. But I did see power lines or whatever this is. Maybe we can turn off certain things. Why am I... Can I read the wall? Okay, so that's definitely a dead body. Why does it do that? That's so odd. I guess that's part of the power of the Amber Throne, wanting to make things beautiful or something. Okay, so this thing's lowered our defense. And it's sticking around us. Which is bad. And this is obviously a creature in a treasure chest or something. Oh no. <laughs> it's just a relic. Which we are going to uh, read. Let's do this. Uh, relics or what's that? Oh, Sir Ration. Okay, Axis Kingdom relic. A mysterious device with the roots emerging from within. It's similar to those of the Minic and the Argur, with strange pulsing light. Perhaps with help, Axis formed a more modern variation. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't want my lowered defense. I'm gonna walk away, cause this thing's gonna kind of chase me. And I think I can take this on with full on freedom. Oh, okay, sure, if you say so. Um, this thing was not weak against anything last I remember, but I will try to lower its defense. And does it work? No. And this guy, I wish this guy, I wish I had an attack, like I don't say this often, but I wish I had an attack to uh, raise my health through a, a spirit ability. By spirit, I do mean like a spell. Alright, Crusade, that's attack up. We can take that away pretty easily. It's not weak against piercing, but a small... A small... Uh, ooh, there you go. Uh, oh yeah, Heart Strike. I was gonna say, a small health to bring myself back up is always good. Take away his buff. And... Uh, ooh, Arrow. Just finish him off with a slash, please. There you go. Oh my god, it's so powerful. Her sword is so strong now. Alright, so we took that out, but I do want that treasure over here. And we've got... Our Rebel's Robe. Now, I am a little torn. I did give my last Rebel stuff to him here. Rebel's Robe... Defense and agility, that's probably better off on Papel. Yeah, I don't want to lower her, uh, I don't care about lowering her spirit, but lowering, uh, lowering Syrah's spirit even lower, not a great idea. And you know what, we actually, we're gonna, we're gonna top them off. Health is a little bit too low, and I think 900's fine, it'll just, just be below max health. Alright, so we're ready to go, let's keep going. What do we have here? Well, I mean... Man, we're following the power cables here. There you go, the cradles. I don't know what that means. I don't know where we are. I want to turn this off. Am I going to see a good vision here? Why not? Why not? We might have gone the wrong, way, the right way now that we're here. Hmm. Okay, so maybe where we wanted to go before is where we're supposed to be. Maybe these are blocking something. And, uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way to, uh, do anything here. Alright, so we went the wrong way. Lesson learned. I'm assuming this power cable is gonna light up once we do something, but I don't really know what. Man, this music is creepy. Ugh. Plus there's dead bodies and some of them come back to life and others don't, and then this? Like, ugh. This whole place is actually really creepy, like... I am not scared, but I am definitely like wigged out a little bit, like just uncomfortable. Kind of like waking up from a nightmare. As an adult, you know, I probably shouldn't 
I just probably shouldn't be scared. Oh god, what does this mean? Uh, Alright, let's do some uh, spike shots. Oh god, their attack is up too. Horizon, what does that do? Delays target slightly, sure, why not? Please, someone be weak, yes. No one's weak, but this is actually doing decent damage. Oh god, and now the crit's up. Okay, it's something that all enemies... Now, if only Ara could get an attack. Okay, good. Okay, that's not bad. I've seen worse. She'll attack before everyone else. And Horizon will do... Uh, I kind of wish I could do it before Papel does it. She might kill everything. Yeah. There you go. Not quite, but we're going to do quite a bit of damage here. Perfect. Now, let's do a Thunder. And if Popel can go first, I'm gonna actually take out his buff. Yeah. Heart strike, no more buff for you, sir. And just a regular attack slash thing will do. Because Era is so freaking powerful now. Look at that. Still, like, speak on a sucks, and so does the money. Though the decrepit roots can be sold, from what I remember. Now, is there anything around here that I want to explore? Nope, there isn't. Now the thing is, that thing's gonna want to lower my defense, and I don't want it to. Can I walk behind this? I can. Ah, oh, where is it? Where's that coming from? Ooh! Two full potions. Okay, that's fine. Last battle wasn't that bad, so let's just do a spike shot. Ow. Let's do... Uh, let's do... I'm, I'm wondering what kind of damage I'll be doing with the piercing damage here. 1400 with some heal, that's pretty powerful actually. A Thunder Spire's decent. And, uh, yeah. Spike's good too, but I should probably try something different. I'll try some blunt damage. Because this is up to 12 hits, it's not always 12 hits, so it's kind of, uh... It's kind of a, a, a gamble a little bit. Just a regular attack should do... Oh, actually, only 1400. Oh, that's okay. You'll be dead before you have the time to do anything with that power-up. There we go. And... Goodbye, friend. Uh, again, crappy goal, crappy XP. Two full potions, though. So that's kind of decent. Uh, okay, defense down here as well. Oh. Alright, well, I think we're not defense down anymore. We're not, you're right. I'm right, I mean. Um, so a slash, because we're going to attack both of them, and this... Ooh. Well, I'm kind of glad when you do that, because I know that Papel can just... screw with them a little bit by removing their, their buff. So depending who's attacking first... See, so he's been delayed now. And if I can kill this seed with maybe like a Thunder Spire... I don't know if it's going to be weak against it, but yes, it's not going to get to attack. And good old heart strike here. Remove his buff. Attack it up is gone. Uh, just a regular attack because you're monstrous. There you go. Oh, maybe I needed to lower its defense first. Um, we'll try to see if lightning or fire does a trick. It does not. So, Papel, you can probably finish this guy. And I have never used that. Oh, I have actually. I remember getting the heart strike. Decent goal for these guys. All right, so pretty sure I have to go up. So I'm gonna go down. Good old RPG logic right there. But I am going to do a safety save. And again with the creepy music. Ugh. What do we have here? Uh, blocked area. Can we walk through? No, we cannot. All right. Clearly something's gonna burn all this stuff away once we activate the uh, whatever we're gonna activate. Don't wanna get my defense lowered though. I know there's one in here. So let's try and... Okay. And power of the Amber Throne. What? Okay, 
I don't know what that is, but that's, you know, unsettling. We're going to try to lower its defense. It's a Lotus. You know, logic to me tells me that it would be weak against fire. Oh, yay! I was, I was right. And it's weak against piercing too. My god. I'm gonna do a Chimera thing. Because that's fire and piercing, so that's like a double whammy. Only 80... Ah, oh, man, I didn't burn it, though. I was kind of hoping to burn it, but that's not going to be the... That's not what's going to happen, right? Okay, maybe it's actually weak against Thunder, too. Let's see what happens here. It's not, but Papel should finish him off. Or it off. There you go. That's some smart playing right there. And crappy gold and XP again, so this was not a boss fight. And we activated this thing. Um, nothing's really going on. Are these things gonna come back to life? They're not. I know. I know you want to lower my defense. I get it. I get it. Any monsters around here? There isn't. Oh yes. I don't want my lower defense though. Come over here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Here. Come here. Come here. Wake. What? Alright, so we've got three monsters. Oh, and it's one of those stupid monsters that I hate so much. These guys. No, 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 not Kimira. I'm gonna do a horizon. Hopefully I can lower their... Slow them down. Yeah, it's not weak against anything. I hate that thing. That is... That was the source of all my problems earlier. Ah, oh, good, we lowered its defense. Maybe a Thunderspire could... Uh, actually, I kind of want to kill this thing first. Please. No! It got its chance anyway. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well, Ara, you get to do a horizon attack again. And actually finish that thing off. There you go. That thing slowed down. Thunder Spire on this thing. Please be weak, I forget. No, you're not. You're not weak against anything. All right, you can do a heart strike. I actually prefer you remove the heart strike on this dude. Now it's very low damage. How disappointing! But you get to attack first, so please. Uh, yes. That was, that couldn't have gone better. That couldn't have gone better. Oh man, I don't know what this thing is weak against. Oh, let's try it. Lunar defense is down. Whatever. Uh, attack is up, heart strike, just to remove its... There you go. Sierra levels up. That was decent XP, though. Uh, yeah, it's decent XP. Well, a bit more than usual, but good goal. But there were three monsters, so that does, you know, make sense. So, what kind of skills? Can we unlock skills for you, or are you just at 50 now? You're at 100, so let's learn a skill. Removes all stats increase from one enemy. Remakes party immune to stat decreases for one turn. I don't really care about that. Removes all stat decreases from party. One turn cooldown. What do I need for this? Both Sunray and Moonglow. Damn. But this is the whole party. This is actually really useful. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is the long... We're going for the long ride. Oh, and she has 100 too. Okay. Um... She can't really learn anything that I really care about, to be honest. We've got the golden shot. Lightning damage. Mud trap lowers agility. I don't care about that. But this one lowers agility for two turns and deals light damage. Oh, deals light. I thought lightning damage. Not as good. Increase evasion for two turns. Double defense until struck. Like, I feel... I can try and start these things, but... Ignore's defense, must charge. These are things you must equip. Well, increased dexter dexterity could be good. Deals extra range damage. I never really cared much for that. So I guess we can try and equip this. And is there something we don't really like? Um, I actually don't really like this golden strike thing. It doesn't remove anything. Or does it do... It gives me a... Actually, it might be good. Brawl shot. Oh yeah, I don't really use brawl shot anymore. So let's equip. Let's equip all that. Uh, dexterity boosting. And you know what? Do I even use 
net shot? I don't. So let's let's say equip spunk for now. There you go. A bunch of boosts. I I tend to always use the same stuff. I used to use the the trapping um, skill before, but I started using it less often. And again, a little safety save. Oops. Now let's go see what I activated. Or deactivated. Maybe these guys are gonna come to life now. Nope. Ah, dang it. I don't know what's going on. There's nowhere else to go. I hope that opened up something. Ooh. What's going on? Power cable is going all the way over here. And we've got the cradles again. Ah, there you go. Is there anything more to the right here? Oh, well, oh okay. Well, let's see if we can find something in here. Nope, nothing. Just a random beautiful house from the past. And uh, we can walk on top of it. And there are no treasures. Okay, that's okay. And up here we've got... Well, more of the same, I suppose. What's over here? Hmm. I have a feeling something is gonna happen up here. Let's, uh... Let's check it out. No treasures to be found. Oh, you can go inside here. And it's missing something. I like checking stuff out. I like sidetracked. Being sidetracked. Oh. You are not inside your cradle. Please return to it immediately so you may begin reintegration with the throne. Keeping this kingdom power depends on you. Please do not resist. Huh. Okay, did it recognize Aura? Or does it just react that way to everything that's kind of like a living being? I don't know. And this thing was weak against something like this, I believe. No, it wasn't, but, you know, let's keep healing up. Why not? And, uh, let's do a Thunder Spire. It's probably my most powerful spell right now. He's not very powerful to begin with, though, unfortunately. I'm just gonna keep doing that because, honestly, it's just going well for me. And hopefully... Ah... Uh, well, that undid everything. There you go. I knew I could just do a small attack and want to delay it. Level up for Ara. Oh, and she gets 100 now, I believe. Blue Vine. Hmm. That might actually be, be the ones you end up uh, selling. Let's learn a skill. Overhead slash. Oh, yeah. We were going for what before? Uh, intuition increased dexterity by 10. I forget what our strategy was. I, I started with the blast cannon. Uh, world slash, what does that do? Deals a large amount of damage, delays targets slightly. But only, only this one deals target and less to user, more damage to user, less damage to user, and then this one deals a large amount of damage, delays target so basically, I need to learn all of them before I can actually get the good one. Uh, so basically, all of these things kind of just suck a little bit. Yeah, I really don't know what I want here. Um, resolve, God, I never block. I mean, I could equip more dexterity. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try and equip her with a bit more dexterity. Increase slash damage, blast cannon. You know what? I've never even used the blast cannon. So let's do that. And what's in the treasure? Catacomb. Okay. I think that's a accessory. Uh, defense and attack. Catacomb, catacomb. Increases defense by 5% and reduces SPI by 5%. 
That's useless. Why would I even want that? And does this do anything here? Can we revive you, buddy? Alright. Well, guys, I feel like there's still a lot to discover around here. So, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I'd like to say thanks for watching the episode. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And thank you so much for leaving comments because I love discussing uh, this game. It's so amazing. I love it. Get it. Play it. And uh, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.